you're watching this, don't think that I am like, oh, I used to run cross country, I used to do this. I was complete opposite. And so this is someone with no experience in running trying to tell you guys that you can do it. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, just a heads up, I do discuss lessons and tips I have for you towards the end of this video, and so I hope you guys stay till then. I wanted to walk you through a little bit of the prep that I did before the race. As you can see, I'm icing my feet after I did a quick two mile shakeout run. I then ate a pretty big breakfast, focusing on majority of carbs. And then I did have to go to the running shop just to get some more gels. And you guys will know exactly why I love them. I'll explain it later, but they truly do help. They are like magic. But I'm showing you my first snack and then I did have some dinner. I did have some more potatoes. You guys, I highly recommend grabbing some electrolytes before and after the race. Tim and I love BPN supplements. That's all we buy. All right, so it is officially one day before the half marathon and I'm a little nervous. I've been carving up... Um, we ate a good breakfast, we had some lunch, we had a good dinner. I am really, I don't wanna say I'm nervous cause I don't wanna like put that stuff in my head, but it's definitely going to be something that is going to challenge me. Um, but I feel really good, I feel confident. If I need to walk, I'm gonna walk, but I really just wanna finish. I don't have like a goal time in my, like I do, but I don't wanna be like, oh, if I don't meet it, I'm gonna be disappointed. But if I can, I'd like to finish it in under like two hours and 20 minutes, um, depending on how, you know, everything goes. So my foot has been healing. I got, I got new shoes literally three days before the race. So they've been doing good. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> So it is race day, which is exciting. I feel good. I feel refreshed. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm confident. Just did my little morning routine and now I'm putting on these feature socks, which I really like. Um, these are Tim's, by the way. I needed myself my own pair. I have to start my day with David Goggins. Like, I need some motivation. How do you feel? Fast. Ow. Ow. All right, I got my backpack, water bottle, another water bottle for after, another water bottle. Okay, mile three. <laughs> Six miles. I feel good. Long distance running is over. Now we're gonna go to the sprint portion. <laughs> you heard it here first. It's done. So we are waiting to go to breakfast, but can't catch up on a donut. You guys, my mom goes all out and I love it. I'm so grateful for her. All right, you guys. So we are finally home. Uh, my legs just, I need to go to bed or I need to like watch a movie or something. 
um, I will be back on tomorrow to talk to you guys about the half marathon and stuff. So yeah, right now I'm going to put some moisturizer in my face um, and I just showered and I am just relaxing the rest of the day and I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, so we are six hours post run and I feel like I was in a boxing match against Conor McGregor. That's how I feel right now. Everything hurts on me. Not even my legs, but like my core, abs. Hi you guys, all right, so I finished a half marathon. I did it, I did the thing that I told myself that I need to do because I knew it was gonna be hard. I knew it was gonna be really challenging and running is something that I dislike very, very much until now. In the remaining of this video, I want to share with you guys kind of like my race recap lessons, tips I have for you, and just all that good stuff. This is not just about a half marathon, but this is about putting your mind to something and actually going through with it and achieving it. Oftentimes, I feel like we settle in this space of just comfortability. I really hope this encourages you that you are more than capable of doing anything you set your mind to. If that is setting a goal to run a half marathon or 5K or even a mile or walking every every day for 30 minutes, like we need to get uncomfortable because I don't think that we will be successful or we will grow personally or even reach a point where we understand our own limitations if we don't test them or we don't get out of that comfort zone, if that makes sense. All right, so I wanna share with you guys three lessons that I learned while in this whole process of running the half marathon. And number one is, it is just you. So like, as someone who grew up cheering in a team sport, I never really experienced what it felt to achieve something on your own. Like while your community and your friends and your family are great supporters and great sources of encouragement, you guys, it is ultimately up to you to get yourself through the finish line. Like it is you and perseverance, baby. Like that is it. All right, so that brings me to number two and that is your mind will quit before your body does. Guys, I, I know it is so cliche to say, but you will hit a pivotal moment, like a critical point in your run where it is just a mental game at that point. It is you against you. For me, it was mile nine and a half. Like I was running, I felt really, really good. And then 9.5 came around. I felt like someone just hit me with a load of bricks. Like, like I am so mentally exhausted at that point and so physically exhausted. I'm hurting, my feet are hurting, everything on me is hurting. And I'm seriously thinking about things. I'm like, okay, at the next water station, I'm gonna tell them that I need to stop. My feet are hurting really, really bad. Like I was seriously thinking about this. I was like, what do I do? Because I need to stop. Like it hurts so bad, I can't keep going. And then I was like, wait, you know what? I just ran 10, almost 10 miles. Like what are three more, right? And so you tell yourself that, but you guys, it is seriously so, it's so much easier said than done, but it is a mental game at that point. Like you need to start filling your brain with, whether it's you're listening to something on your phone and you put in a David, David Goggins podcast. Like I know I was listening to David Goggins the last three miles and also just praying to God. I was like, Lord, please, like, please just like lift me and just get me through these last three miles. It's ultimately your determination that carries you across the finish line. All right, so number three, this is my last one. I'm gonna keep it short, but you guys do not just finish the race to finish but finish strong. The last 15 to 20 seconds, I could have just like lollygagged my way there, like finished, you know, not breathing, like finished, feeling like I'm dead. But I seriously, as soon as I saw the finish line, I'm like, you know what? That 15 to 20 second stretch, it's go time. I am picking up the pace at this point. I'm like sprinting as fast as a sprint would be. I was just determined to finish strong. Like I just ran 13.1 miles, right? Like I've never, ever, ever imagined or dreamed that I would be doing this. It's such a great, just pivotal moment in my life because truly that last 15 to 20 second stretch made me realize that this was not going to be my last race. But finishing to just finish, I think is different than finishing to finish strong because 
That is like relentless determination. That is something that you, you are hungry for. Like you work so hard to get to where you were. And so honestly, it's just like, you need to put it in overdrive and just like finish strong, right? Like it, it, we're not trying to just finish to finish. We are trying to finish because this is what we worked hard for. And I'm gonna prove to myself that I am capable of pushing past that pain. If you guys are interested, I will leave kind of like my splits that I, I was running in uh, right here. Um, my Apple Watch died. <laughs> so it didn't calculate the, all the 13 miles. I think it died at like 12 point something. But um, yeah, I'm really proud of myself. I'm really happy. And I hope this inspires you and encourages you because we are capable of more than we think. And so, yeah, do something to test your limits. Do something that makes you uncomfortable. Number one, carb loading. It is it is so satisfying just knowing that like you can eat so much food. I don't know about you, but like I'm a big pasta girl. I love rice, I love oatmeal, I just love carbs. And so when I tell you guys carb load, you need to eat a lot of carbs the night before. So in every single meal, like get those carbs in. Whether it's like oatmeal or Chex Mix, cereal, um, just some type of good carb and not, not a lot of processed carbs, but I eat cereal in between meals, so. It was really good. I really truly believe that it helped so much in just running the next day. Right, number two, gel packets. You guys, I highly recommend these. They are like, they are like miracles in a pouch. It is so crazy. But if you guys aren't familiar with gel packets, they are basically like packets full of honey, like a like a gooey consistency that consists of like electrolytes, carbs, caffeine. You can get some with caffeine. I highly recommend those, the 25 to 30 gram, uh, milligrams of caffeine. They, I feel like I would not be able to run if I did not have a gel. I'm not gonna lie. And you take them every 40 to 45 minutes. And so if I'm running 13 miles, I took them one before the race on mile three, six, nine. So I had a total of four gel packets. All right, so number three, this is one that I definitely wish I focused on a lot more. And that is, do not think about the race. Do not think about it the night before. And I know that is so easier said than done, but because it was my first one, I was really hesitant. I was really scared. I was like, what can I expect if I can't catch my breath or whatever? Like I was thinking about every possible outcome. It was really putting me in like a really low state. I'm not gonna lie. Like my nerves were really high. I was kind of like sick to my stomach. I really was scared. So. Just if you can distract yourself, don't let yourself cons be consumed by this. Like it is, it is over before you know it. And so honestly, the night before, think about it. Be like, hey, you know what? This is something that is tomorrow. God's got it. It's in God's hands. Pray about it. And that is literally it. After that, like, do not think about it. I'm telling you, distract yourself with something else. Whether that's going on your phone, whether that's going on Netflix, reading your favorite book, playing your favorite board game. Just distract yourself because the more you think about it, it will it will just consume you and it will make you sick. So just don't do that. Do something to test your limits. Do something that makes you uncomfortable. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.